and welcome back to Lord Bodhisattva's Art of Warcraft. Today, I will be discussing healing and mouse over macros. Often I find that healers can become one-dimensional, relying on one or two types of heals and not exploiting the full scope of their class. Generally, this is due to the fact that keeping a number of spells and heals readily available can become difficult using only the UI tools that Blizzard provides uh, by default in the game. One way to become a healer that makes utility of all his tools is to employ mouse over macros. In order to properly set up your mouse over macros, you'll need at least a four button mouse with a browsing wheel, two buttons at your thumb for casting one instant hot, left and right click buttons for movement, and a tri-function mouse wheel for casting three other instant heals and or hots. In order to set up a macro, go into your game mini menu. It looks like the little computer down on your taskbars select macros. From there the macro command box will appear. Select new. Another window will appear with several icons with which you can associate your macro. Choose the icon that looks like a question mark. Once we assign the macro to this icon, it will look just like the icon of the spell for which you're setting the macro. Here I'll demonstrate how to set up prayer of mending as a mouse over macro. So I'll name the macro POM, P-O-M for prayer of mending. Select OK and return to the macro command box. From there you'll want to copy the macro from the following link. You may also simply Google mouse over macro and locate the following macro. You may attempt to type the macro straight into the command box, however macros can be a bit finicky about keystrokes. I found it easier to copy and paste the command from the website using Control c to copy and Control v to paste in game. Once you've pasted your macro in the command box, exit the macro window, then reopen the macro window. You should find the icon of the spell, in this case Prayer of Mending, among the icons in the macro window. If you still find that the macro is represented by a question mark, you have made an error in the command lines of the macro. Check for spelling and spacing and ensure that the line slash cast target equals mouse over Prayer of Mending is on one line. Once you've located your icon, drag and drop it into your action bar slot 1. The slot normally associated with striking the 1 key. Then go back in your game mini menu. This time select key bindings. Here we will bind our mouse thumb button to this macro. A mouse with four buttons will have two thumb buttons. However, I only use the lower button as I find the upper thumb button a bit awkward to reach. Once your key binding menu is open, scroll down to the action bar functions. Hover over the binding buttons associated with action bar function one and click on your mouse thumb button to bind that button to your macro and that key. Once that is completed, close the menu and test your macro by hovering over your character portrait and pressing the mouse thumb button. Note that mouse over macros only work when you have your mouse cursor over a character's portrait or other associated UI icons. Now that your mouse thumb button is set, continue setting the remainder of your mouse buttons to mouse over macros associated with frequently used spells and or heals. From here, let's continue by setting up the keyboard. I left my movement keys set to the default W, S, A, and D, with two exceptions. W is still move forward. S is move backward, only now the A key is strafe left instead of turn left, and the D key is strafe right instead of turn right. From there I bind more spells set to mouse over macros to the nearby keys Q, E, Z, X, and C. This takes a little practice, but once you master it, spell and heal casting as well as simultaneous movement become much more efficient with spells bound to convenient keys on buttons on your mouse and key. Between the mouse and keyboard now you have
have at least nine total spells set up with mouse over macros. This is easily expandable to other nearby keys on the keyboard, as well as with a multi-button gaming mouse. Now many of you may be wondering, why go to all this trouble to use mouse overs? Why not use Healbot or Voodoo? Well, the short answer to that is, using macros, uh, using mouse over macros is much more lightweight uh, than a lot of those healing add-ons like Healbot or Voodoo. Uh, I've personally found using mouse overs tend to be uh, a lot more responsive um, to my keystrokes and a lot more reliable than a lot of the prepackaged uh, healing add-ons that can sometimes crash right in the middle of a raid or something crucial. Um, additionally, uh, if you combine mouse over macros with grid, which I'll discuss in another video, um, you'll be able to just streamline your UI uh, much, much more efficiently and configure it to give you only the information you really need. Uh, once you get the hang of creating and binding mouse over macros, uh, your healing and casting becomes a lot more versatile. You can add, subtract spells, and, and a lot more malleable. Um, so you can mold uh, your healing to, to situational uh, events. With some practice, uh, you know, I've seen average healers become really good healers using mouse over macros, and, and good healers become just amazing healers. Uh, so give it a try, see what you think. Thanks for watching this episode of Lord Bodhisattva's Art of Warcraft, and we'll see you next time.